Well, some Harris County officials are trying to crack down on squatters and vacant properties. The precinct two constables office is currently working five different cases where trespassers have broken into empty homes and the process to get them out. Yeah, that could be tough. Fox 26 is Sherman DeSella joining us live from Pasadena tonight, and he shows us how they're tackling this problem. Sherman. Yeah, many of you have seen a story like this before. The process that it takes to get someone out of a vacant property can be difficult, sometimes complicated, but one move made by a Houston woman helped to protect her mother's possessions. Who did you think was, was living in the house? I thought my brother was living there. He lived with my parents. Imagine this, the property that your deceased mother left behind is occupied, but you don't know who's living there. That's what happened to Jennifer Abair. Her mother died shortly before Hurricane Harvey and had a home on Hind Street in Southeast Houston. In the last year, the property was taken over by several trespassers who turned the utilities on and really junked up the place. They had blankets and stuff over the doors, so I couldn't really tell on the doors. Residents were saying that there was drug use. They said there was gunfire from there. It caught the attention of Precinct 2 Constable Jerry Garcia, who says it's a growing problem across the county. The process of removing the unwanted guest got tricky. They had trouble finding the owner. We need a complaining party in order for us to pursue charges. If we can't find an owner, it makes the eviction process pretty much, uh, you just can't do it. Garcia, along with HPD and Councilmember Flickinger and the Civic Club, worked with the community to identify the owners. A last will and testament couldn't be found, but they found a bear who signed a no trespassing affidavit that removed the trespassers and allowed the space to be cleaned up. Your mom and dad are getting older and, and y'all need to, to get some papers drawn up. Do that. Check with the local um, civic club, HOA. I'm sure they'll want to help you. I tell you, my sisters and I did this very thing for my father, and we are glad that we did. So, uh, the council member Flickinger, he said in a recent announcement this morning that there will be some clinics on how to produce those wills for you and your family, but those dates and locations have yet to be set. Reporting for Pasadena, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.